Today we are visiting Breckengare Roman Fort. Breckengare or Agare is a Roman auxiliary fort of about 2.8 hectares in size. Its earliest iteration was built around 75 AD and consisted of defensive banks of clay which rested upon a cobbled surface with a wooden palisade. During the late 1st and earlier 2nd century, the fort was home to a 500-strong Vetonian cavalry unit from Spain. Use of the fort continued until the end of the Roman occupation, but what form this took is unknown. The original earth and timber structures were replaced with stone in the second half of the 2nd century AD by the men of Augustus's second legion. The fort had a small bathhouse and a large riding school or drill hall, several official buildings and many strip buildings laid out on a network of streets. There was also a cemetery to the north. The west, south and east gates are still visible, along with substantial stretches of the rampart wall. So at one point this must have been the southern gateway. It's certainly the thing on the southern perimeter, in the middle of the southern perimeter wall. So logically, I would say gateway. I mean, admittedly, it's only the foundations of what was once here, but still, that's something the Romans did for us. Well, not for us, they did it for themselves, really. But I'm all confused now. I would have said this would have been the remainders of a tower, where they would have been much taller and possibly have had lookout points over the top so that people could stand and shoot people with bows and arrows. So you've got your entranceway here and you've got your two lookout points either side. Standard Roman building, built to last. I mean, it's lasted 2,000 years, so it's not too shabby, really. And it's in a stunning location. I don't know what it would have looked like 2,000 years ago, but right now it's got rolling hills and lovely farmland with sheep that also they set the scene very nicely. This isn't the original rampart wall, because the original rampart wall, layer of cobbles, and then it was built up on over the top with clay. Now this version of the thing, they took away the clay and in amongst it is an awful lot of stone. So it really is quite a tough wall. I mean, I don't know really whether you can see this particularly well, but if I stand here, you should be able to see that all this stuff, in amongst all the moss and the grass, that's stone. What you end up with is a much sturdier structure. It's not just going to be washed away in a heavy rain. I am patrolling the perimeter of the fort. <laughs> also, I like to tell myself to spice things up a little. I'm headed towards the west gate. That is the perimeter lip. I should imagine that the wall that would was once stood here would have been quite tall because the Romans were, you know, anti-people coming in who they didn't want to be here, shall we say. This thing here is at the corner. Now this is basically the foundations of a tower. You put a tower at each corner, it gives you the opportunity to be able to look out over the fabulous vistas uh, probably afforded to you at the time, which of course you can't see anymore because of the fact that there are trees in the way. And you would have been able to see if there was anybody coming that wanted to uh, do you any harm. Or alternatively, just wanted to avoid the fort altogether so that you couldn't tax them. That's another possibility, I suppose. You can't see a busting great deal in there. But you'll have to take my word for it, that in there is some stonework. It's not particularly easy to see, is it? I'm at the west gate and it's the same construction really as the south gate. You've got a guard tower either side and the main entranceway. Both the south and the west are protected not only by these gates here and the walls that would have surrounded the fort, but they've got the river down there to slow anybody down who wanted to cross. And you've got a really good view of the surrounding hills, but then again, with hills, there is a potential that somebody is hiding in them. I can imagine waking up in the morning, being on guard duty, all chilly, with my mug of whatever they drank, looking out at this. And I think I wouldn't mind quite so much that there was an early morning after all. This is the East Gateway. Now, either it was structured in the same way that the Southern Gateway was, and would have had two buildings through which you had to enter, or alternatively, it might just be that the bank ended there and then there was one 
small building. If you limit the access to sort of a narrow passageway, nothing big can come through. You certainly can't get animals or carts through, but you could get individual people through and you could check them in and out to make sure that they're not doing anything you don't want them to. I mean, it might be that there simply wasn't a major roadway that went through here that meant that you needed a big entranceway. Now, this is roughly ground level, or was roughly ground level, where I'm standing now. It gives you some idea of the scale of the wall here, because what you're seeing behind me isn't as high as it once was, and it had a big sort of fortified fence thing on the top of the thing. This was a very, very secure structure. These guard houses were actually quite roomy. You had at least enough space to pace, depending on whether it got narrow at the top or not. There is more left to the south gate, as you can see here. The, uh, the walls to the towers aren't quite built up so much, but you can still see the outline of what was here quite nicely, thank you very much. This sits on the corner and is therefore a corner tower or rather the foundations of a corner tower. This is quite nicely dressed stone at the bottom of here and chances are it would be nicely dressed stone at the top of it as well. So leaving the corner tower behind we head on to where the north gate should be. But the north gate isn't anymore unfortunately. People came along after the Romans had vacated and wanted to build barns and run livestock across the land. And so, the North Gate is no more. Joe, what do you think? To be honest, we've been to more impressive sites, but as with every site we've been to, this one has the redeeming feature of the views, and the views are quite something. They are, but they would be an awful lot better were it not for the fact that, you know, it's somewhat misty and cloudy and... I don't know, I think that kind of adds atmosphere. It does a bit, but I think that is definitely it from us due to the fact that it's quite cold. Mm. We will be seeing you next time. So, TGFN!